Magian Kelly's response to Las Vegas shooting is exactly what Hollywood is sick of hearing Trevor Noah Magian Kelly added fuel to Hollywood's fire over gun violence Tuesday when she claimed the Las Vegas shooting would have happened even if the United States had stricter gun control laws in place. On her new daytime talk show, Magian Kelly Today, the former Fox News anchor struggled to make sense of the mass shooting that occurred Sunday night at the Route 91 Harvest Festival when a 64-year-old white male killed 59 people and injured at least 527 while shooting at the 22,000-person crowd from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. I do feel helpless in these times. Do you? Kelly said Tuesday. The mental health laws are not going to change, and we know it. The gun laws? Right. And even if they did change, you would still get people like this guy, and we know it. From the look of things, this is a guy who is a lone shooter, no history of violence, no record, no red flags, no anything, she continued. No anything in this case, not yet anyway. A retired accountant who had a girlfriend, who was supposedly happy, decided to murder a group of innocent people here in the land of the free. So how exactly do we make sense of that? The topic of gun control has been debated for decades, but the conversation heats up on Twitter feeds and in coffee break rooms across the country any time a lunatic starts shooting in public. We had the same national conversation after the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting in Florida and after the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting in Connecticut. I think we feel like finding the motive will help us understand better, help us feel like the next one may be preventable, if we can only understand this one. But the truth is, we never really change anything after these situations, do we, Kelly added. And the mass murders keep coming. They keep coming and they come and they come, over and over again. So many now that we stop and say, oh, God, when we see it, then we move on, perhaps a little too quickly. Many Hollywood stars might agree with Kelly's last line, but her position that stricter gun laws wouldn't prevent any tragedies comes in staunch contrast to the vast majority of celebrities expressing concerns with the National Rifle Association and the loose gun laws than were lobbies to protect. J.G. Hadid, Ariana Grande, Julianne Moore, Scooter Braun, Emmy Rossum and Cheryl Crow were among the many stars who joined Hillary Clinton Monday in advocating for lawmakers to act by placing more restrictions on firearms in America. The crowd fled at the sound of gunshots, Clinton tweeted Tuesday morning. Imagine the deaths if the shooter had a silencer, which then wants to make easier to get. Our grief isn't enough. We can and must put politics aside, stand up to the NRA, and work together to try to stop this from happening again. Rossum added a message to President Donald Trump, the people of Las Vegas don't need your hashtags and empty tweets about warmest condolences. They need action. And Billy Eichner made his stance known with an unmistakable, all caps tweet, gun control now. Enough already. Grow the F creek up. The average person doesn't need a F king machine gun. Enough already. Enough. Enough. Late night TV hosts traded one-liners for more somber monologues on Tuesday night, and every single one of them demanded stricter gun regulations. Stephen Colbert, Trevor Noah, Conan O'Brien, Jimmy Kimmel and James Corden all paid tribute to those who lost their lives Sunday night and praised first responders and heroic citizens who were present before calling on lawmakers to tackle the public threat posed by easy access to guns. Colbert asked Trump and Congress to do anything but nothing in the wake of the mass shooting. Noah said, to the people of Las Vegas, I cannot give you thoughts and prayers. I can only say I'm sorry that we live in a world where people would put a gun before your lives. Conan added, I am not the most political of our comics, I never have been, but I will repeat what I said not long ago after Orlando, I don't think it should be so easy for one demented person to kill so many people so quickly. The sounds of those automatic weapons last night are grotesquely out of place in a civilized society. Myers railed on Congress for never wanting to have the gun control discussion due to insensitive timing, saying, it would be so much more honest if you would just admit that your plan is to never talk about it and never take any action. And Kimmel went into a 10-minute monologue to slam critics who say there's nothing we can do about it since the gunman purchased the guns legally before passing background checks. And then there was Corden who comes from a different perspective, one that almost seems more powerful given that he's been living in the U.S. for only two and a half years and has already witnessed two of the deadliest mass shootings in American history. Last night was the biggest mass shooting in United States history, he said.
That's a record that's been set twice in just the two and a half years that I've been living in America. Here's another statistic. 11,660 people have died from gun violence in the last 275 days in this country. Now, I come from a place where we don't have shootings at this frequency, so it's hard for me to fathom, but it should be hard for everyone to fathom. Gun violence should not be a staple of American life. Some say it's too early to talk about gun control. For those victims last night, it's far too late.